I'm in Salad, and I saw Werewolf by Night. It is directed by Michael Giacchino. This is exclusive to Disney+, Plus, and I'm going to give a bunch of spoilers away. So, the movie starts. Some b- monster hunter has died. He has a bloodstone, which is very powerful towards killing monsters. Now, a bunch of monster hunters have been gathered for this funeral of this monster hunter. They f- have to fight for this bloodstone because, you know, it's, it's the heir of the bloodstone first would go to the daughter, but the daughter has been estranged for 20 years. And because of that, the mom, the wife of the monster hunter is like, I do not like you. Oh yeah, by the way, the first daughter name, her name is Elsa. The wife is like, I do not like you. And I'm just thinking, oh, Elsa, she seems to have a lot of hidden capabilities if she's even daring to be here. Daring to be around a bunch of monster hunters who start off with like 20 something kills up to 50. And then we get to see uh, Russell. He has cool markings on his face. I like his markings a lot. We see Russell have like a hundred kills, but he's just a scrawny guy and like the next head up is some like really big dude who's super experienced so i'm like ah yeah i'm super excited to see how this all works out how does russell have a hundred kills he looks like he couldn't kill anyone and then we're going through this maze in order to fight the ultimate monster and the monster has the bloodstone on him and Although the monster is weaker, it is angrier, so it is more difficult to defeat, and it's an ultimate challenge, and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to see some ultimate challenging happening, and the other hunters can kill each other, so I'm like, yeah, oh oh man, I'm so excited for this bloodbath, this is going to be awesome. The Russell goes out first, he is the most experienced, but I'm also like, how, how are you going to defeat this thing, all right? And, you know, Russell's kind of, like, creeping through the maze. But, like, the way that he stands is super fun to watch. Because he's just, like, walking about. Not, like, lurking around looking for anyone. And he's easily scared. Like, more like he jumps when he finds that Elsa is there. And he's like, I don't want to kill you. And I'm just thinking, why doesn't Russell want to kill anyone? This is a battle to the death for this bloodstone. And the other hunters are going to kill you when you got the, the big guy, the big bearded guy. He's He looks really cool, by the way. Uh, he just swings his axe and then bam, a fight starts between Elsa and him. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm super excited to see what happens. Luckily, Elsa is super, super agile. And I was like, ah oh, yeah, I love Elsa because she just like... The way that she takes the big guy down, she like wraps her body around him and then like jumps off and then climbs. I'm like, yeah, ooh, that's a really good way to really fight that guy. Ah, yeah, and then she fights another guy. She chops off uh, some other guys with like a uh, arrow shooters on his wrist. Chops his arm off. She takes the arrow thing after like a little bit of fighting and then like hits hits him in the throat. And you're like, oh, that's so brutal. It like went through his mouth too. And I was like, whoa. If there's like, this is entirely shot in black and white. But there is still a good amount of gore. Like you can see just like the blood splurting into in like a circular pattern. And it's super fun. I like that attention to detail. We get to see that, oh, Russell found the monster. And I like this part, Russell is like backs up against something. And then the monster hand comes out. And then Russell's like, oh, hey, friend. I'm like, whoa, what? What? Why? How is he his friend? I, (laughs) this is so confusing. But Russell's like, I got you, Ted. By the way, Ted, super cute. For the monster, super cute. And I would watch a movie with Ted in it as the main star. Because, oh, man, Ted is super lovable. And thank you, Russell, for humanizing Ted before we get to see... Russell and Elsa are just in this room together. It's because, like, one hunter is like, what? Russell's talking to Ted? And then bam, fight, and then bam. In order to avoid the fight, he just runs into this place, and it locks behind him, and Elsa's there. I'm like, oh yeah, I want to see more Elsa and Russell. 
they're like a fun dynamic because Russell explains that he's not even supposed to be there today. <laughs> but he actually is because he's saving his friend Ted. Elsa's like, well, I'll help you release the monster. It's super fun. There's this little hidden key area because of a story that Elsa told once. I'm like, yeah, Ooh, I'm super excited. She knows all the deets. It's fun. They leave. Russell accidentally takes his explosive, accidentally like starts the process of it about to explode. So he has to run and then Elsa runs and just like starts fighting people in the general vicinity of where the monster is but like we also see the other monster hunters about to fight this monster and we're like no not ted elsa is told hey you gotta approach uh ted like a friend she she does i'm like oh yeah i love you ted when you're not trying to eat people the fact that you're just like so lovable is fun i absolutely love it elsa helps russell help ted escape and then ted just kind of runs off. I'm like, no, without Russell? Dude, n not a really good friend there. There's a huge gathering at where, like, Ted escaped, and then all the monster hunters come. The wife of the dead monster hunter from before, he's like, she's like, Elsa, you're the worst. Ugh. And also, Russell tries to grab the stone and it, like, propels him. I'm like, what? H how? But it turns out he's a monster himself. But what type of monster? I don't know. I'm very excited to see what happens because there's there's a whole like they get put in a cage. Russell is really nice. Russell's a really nice person. And Elsa's in the cage with him because everyone hates Elsa. And they just want her to be dead. I'm like, no, Elsa's so lovable though. Even if she's a disgrace to the family because she left for 20, 20 years and got training elsewhere, it doesn't mean she's not as good as everyone. She just got different training. The stone is being used, speaks some Latin, uh, and he transforms. But before that, he like sniffs all over Elsa. I'm like, oh, this is just super hilarious. What are you doing? What are you doing, Russell? Just takes her sniff. I'm going to sniff you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what's what's this for? But it is to make sure that when he turns into this beast that he is, a werewolf, get it? Because it's in the name of the title of the movie, Werewolf by Night. So he becomes a werewolf, and he even gets out of the cage. He's even being electrocuted by a bunch of these guards, and that doesn't stop him from breaking out of the cage and then, like, hiding amongst the shadows and then attacking the guards. I'm like, yeah, I'm so excited. Ooh, then there's a whole werewolf fight. Elsa, she even leaves the cage and also starts fighting with each other. And it's just like a whole bloodbath. Everyone's dying. You got a bunch of just like slicing and dicing on Russell's part. And I like how this part is filmed. His transformation part is super fun to uh, watch because it's just a slow push on Elsa as she's reacting to light behind her is flashing and we get to see the shadow of Russell as he's transforming and I really liked that part. Super fun. We get a bunch of battling, most of the people die. The wife of Ulysses, that's the guy whose died name is. Uh, she's like, be gone demon, even though he's a werewolf, be gone demon. And then like, I like how the stone is red and then the the energy blasts that come out of the stone are like white. So I'm like, oh, it must be like some blinding light. I really like it. And then guess who comes up? Elsa is about to, but guess who's actually there? Ted, Ted shows up, takes her out. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go. Awesome sauce. Woo wee. Ted is there to come pick up his friend because he's a good friend. And then they all leave and Elsa, also leaves but also there's a fun part that breaks the from the black and white to color is russell's in this cool little camp and the guest is there ted is there and fun little addition he drinks coffee using a french press french press coffee is the best and i'm glad that ted knows this and it's fun to see russell and ted just sitting next to each other, deciding what they want to eat, 
and drinking coffee and then it pans up and then that's the end and i'm like oh that was so that was so satisfying even i liked the part where all of it was in black and white and it was just super fun to see all the fun action just on screen plus just the cool camera pans to like reveal oh look who's there it's good old pal russell he's about to attack bam also i forgot to mention this at the beginning part when they're at the funeral <laughs> the casket opens because it's propped uh, vertically and it's the dead guy and he's animated his corpse and i found that to be hilarious and if there was a funeral that i went to with an animated corpse where the guy was telling me about oh you got to go on this big old battle to fight a monster in order to get the stone that i'm about to inherit that would be a weird funeral that'd be super weird but i'm guessing this is normal for the monster hunters and so I gotta give this film a solid 8 out of 10. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with everyone you know. If I haven't reviewed it on this channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it. So, request a movie in the comments below. Or fast track that request at patreon.com slash Presents. For $20 a month, you get to request one movie review request for one month. So go check out patreon.com slash Presents. If you want to help support me, go to this link tree right here for some NSFW adult content where you can check out whatever I'm wearing under this. So go here at this link tree right here. And if you don't know, the ultimate goal of this channel is to become an expert film watcher. So this link tree will help support that goal. And until next time, I'm in Saad Saw. I'll see you later, my Saad croutons and bacon bits.